Hello, uh, my name is Gaurav Mendirata and I lead the corporate and international tax practice for KPMG in India. The finance minister announced the much awaited budget uh, 2022 and the key themes if you were to look at the budget overall budget was around growth, investment as well as transparency. And those themes kind of came in through the tax proposals as well. So if I were to look at the direct tax proposals from a growth standpoint the first uh, area that was recognized was around make in india uh, there is a 15% concessional rate for new manufacturing units uh, and that provision came in 2019 uh, where this rate can be availed for manufacturing units getting set up by march 2023 uh, in account on account of the pandemic then the government has recognized that it's not going to be feasible and therefore have extended that due date by a year uh it could have been two more years but at least it's a it's a start uh from a startup perspective which are showing a lot of promise and that's been one of another focus area of the government uh there is a three year uh tax holiday out of uh, you know window of 10 uh, 10 years that the uh, startups can choose but only limited to those startups which are set up uh, till march 2023 that limit has been again uh extended to march 23 used to be march 22 uh from a tax rate standpoint while there is no direct change in the tax rate but the long term capital gain on assets other than listed securities uh listed securities the the surcharge is is limited to 15% and in the other cases can go up to 37% uh so uh cases like sale of shares of unlisted companies which could benefit people who are investing in startups and otherwise and also real estate market uh, uh could could see a, a a positive trend uh from a transparency standpoint if i were to talk faceless assessment has come in in the last uh, couple of years and 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 has made considerable progress uh but the government has recognized uh, that there are certain lacunas in the scheme and th- certain things need to be ironed out uh so that's some overhauling that the government's going to do at their end Uh, to ensure coordination between the various units but one good aspect that they've taken into account is that all the transfer pricing assessments as well as the international tax assessments which are a lot more complex than the others are now pushed out uh, to to march of 2024 uh, the other uh, important uh, changes a continuous like the voluntary disclosure scheme uh, which is missing today so if people uh or taxpayers re- recognize whether it's companies or otherwise recognize that there is some income that they believe has got missed out in the tax return they could go and file that tax uh return within 2 years of the end of the assessment year which is a pretty uh you know reasonable time limit by paying 25% to 50% additional amounts of course this is subject to conditions but again uh, a positive move uh but one of the most uh, interesting ones uh around dispute resolution is that the government has decided that where an item of which is a question of law is already pending uh with the uh, with with the high court or the supreme court then the tax office will not litigate on those matters in another case of course subject to acceptance uh by the uh by, by the taxpayer so overall a uh, pretty much in line with the themes and a lot more is expected to come during the year and in uh, in budget 23 as the global uh, oecd uh, agreement of taxes uh, takes shape and the rules are crafted thereon so stay tuned uh, and thank you very much